thing Daniel does. He ain't doing it. <laughs> I just got called out here. I got up here in Ventura. Just had breakfast with Johnny and Tom Berger, American Hot Rods Classics, and we're doing this uh, pinstriping on Daniel van and. What I do is record stuff, and I'm having a conversation, and I'm missing the big part of the, what's going on here. Johnny's laying lines on the old Dano van. How about that? Wicket's all covered up, and Johnny's got a bench full of work in there. And he took the time out to lay some stripes, and I don't, I don't know what to do. And look what he did. How creative. All right, see? Everything's matching the Dano van plate. Colors, red and yellow. How about that? The master at work. Sure glad I'm making this Memorial Day trip. I, this is an extra bonus here. <laughs> I don't know, Dano. <laughs> yeah, I'm running my mouth and I wasn't recording the earlier part. Yeah, boy. And that's with a lot of coffee in me. <laughs> yeah. Look at that, huh? Lady T, look at that. After a few minutes, Daniel, this is what happens when I go to lay the last two lines right here. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, I think you're just playing with this. <laughs> Look at that, a good combo, huh? Red and yellow. Isn't that pretty? Good start of a two week road trip. Oh. I hope Johnny's gonna sign it. Last time I was up, my hood on my camera, he put some lines on that. Now the Dano van. I can't even write a sentence anymore, let alone uh, try to be that steady to do anything like that. Look at that. Wicked. How cool is that? Oh, I like that. Yeah. I like that. Look at that. The old Dano van. I like that. How about that? Johnny, well, thank you. That's what, how it's done. That's how it's done, <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I don't. I don't. Uh, I'll have to stay here and detail the truck in order to pay for <laughs> that that marksmanship there on the front of the Dano That's van. Pretty cool. That's pretty cool. How about that? Anything else you got going on in there you can show uh, the audience? Show anything they want to see here. You think? All right. Yes, sir. We got some. <clears throat> we got some car shows coming up. We got one for ALS that. Uh, Ron Kirk is putting on. You, uh, you and, think we uh, should show that or absolutely. no? Absolutely, no worries. Yeah. No worries. Yeah. All it's, right. Uh, it's all good. Okay. And, uh, it was a show that was going to go on last year, and we got rained out. And I had built a wicked pick, which is going to be given out by me, uh, my award. And uh, anyway, this is what we did last year that we were going to give out. So this year we'll give it out. Oh. No secrets here. Wow. And there'll be more on that as the uh, as the show progresses. Okay. And then uh, Paul Montesano and his group are putting on that uh, cruising at the coast uh, right. in Edison High. No secrets again here. We're both promoting. And this will be their best of show award. Wow. 
Wow. I'm hoping these are Ford Pistons. 427 Ford. Whoa. You bet. Wow. And then this one here, again, being promoted on social media. This is uh, uh, the placard, the little aluminum placard. It's going to go right here. But this is for the uh, Fountain Valley Truck and Car Show. Pete. Uh, Pete Hawk's uh, uh, show. And this is going to be the themed show Aloha giveaway uh, for the best uh, participated uh, car person, uh, Hawaiian shirts, palm trees, whatever they do in their display. Wow. So this is going to be given away to them. This is another one I did. And so that's the latest three I've done for Jeez. three shows coming out. When do you have... And uh, so in the meantime, and I got this other kind of foreign mess. Uh, yeah, yeah. My, my construction work. Working yeah, well, what's all this? So, uh, this doesn't look like pinstriping tools. It don't look like pinstriping tools, <clears throat> but uh, but I do know how to use some of yeah, this. Yeah, building a fence, huh? Yeah, finishing up on some fence work. Look and, at this uh, here, huh? And, Surf uh, City surfboard. Yeah, Surf. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but uh, and this recently we just you know we just had our uh, uh, I just got put into the Fireball Gallery, which. Right. Uh, Everybody, right, we did the opening. Knows that. BC reporter here in my hometown of Ventura uh, interviewed me and gave me a story. gave a, gave a story about the the, sh the gallery opening in itself, and uh, so they they did a a full page write up on uh, Fireball Tim Lawrence's uh, Fireball Gallery at uh -huh. the Murphy Museum. David Neum. Uh, uh, Neil, David Neal is the uh, is the owner, and uh, so they did a really nice article on all of us, the artists, and uh, Fireball and David. Well, and, I, uh, I see you got a bunch of copies. Will I be able to get an autographed so, copy to take with me? Well, you're going to get a copy. All right, <laughs> I can autograph it if you wish. <laughs> and then Fireball recently, I was at the Muckenthaler show, and so he gave me a a stack of these, which are giveouts to help promote and people uh, for people to go out there and see the gallery. Uh, and see the museum in its whole with all the cool cars and yeah. vintage trailers and things. Uh, it's and all done. of us were highlighted. But, it, but, but the gist of this and the gist of that story is the fact that uh, the Murphy Museum put on this uh, put on this whole deal and, uh, and uh, Fireball Tim created this gallery. Uh, and he's already got the next artist is all lined up. Yeah. Uh, my stuff will be in there as well as the rest of these guys. Uh, for uh, four months, uh, three uh, uh, three months. I'm sorry, three months. Okay. And then there'll be a month to pull everything down and get everything ready for the next artist. So they're booked for the full year. Uh, wow. I might add Missy Valenzuela. Yeah. We all know her, the right. photographer of Pinup. She's going to be one of the featured artists. Oh. Uh, my good friend Tony Dow. Right. Uh, will be there with his uh, display, and, and and there's several others. This is Wally. Leave it to Beaver. This is Wally on Leave It to Beaver. Yeah. Him For those Lauren, younger people who might not know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> him and Lauren uh, have become really good friends, to Linda and I. And uh, in fact, they've been here uh, yeah. and visited us. But um, but they'll, he'll be one of the feature artists. But yeah, it's this is an exciting time, and personally exciting time for me. A lot of really good things are happening for me, and uh, and I'm just having a great time. Yeah. See, retirement is something that you shouldn't be afraid of, right? <laughs> retirement is uh, retirement is overstated, and uh, you know, seriously, if you want to, you want to go out and do something that you that you that you really like to do, you know, no way, just go ahead and do it. Right. And uh, do it to the fullest. Because uh, time is not waiting for anyone. I retired from the workforce. I was age 60 when. Uh, I won Grand Nationals in 2013. That's when I picked up a striping brush, only to do it because it was part of the iconic car culture. And it turned into a lot more than that, unintentional. And uh, I never looked back. Yeah. And, uh, and now I'm 66 years old. I've striped uh, at some of the big shows. I just recently striped at the Classic Auto Show, uh, along with Mike Donner out of Oceanside and Emily Bladsher. She's known as uh, Miss Ricochet. She's a wonderful artist. Mike and I go back. Uh, we striped last year at the convention center. Right. So I've been doing things like that for Classic Auto Show. This year it was for uh, Motor Trend. Uh, they took over Velocity. Last year I was striping for Velocity. Uh, you know, it's it's just been a it's just been a really cool thing. And uh, 
it's, it's just been un unbelievable. Unbelievable ride. And I see a lot of bowling ball pins. Like that's kind of like been one of your specialties too. And wine bottles, right? Uh, bowling pins is what I what I sort of started. That's mm -hmm. I came out of the ground with bowling pins. Uh, I did my very first one the first year I learned how to strike. And uh, I think to date, if I can remember right, I think I've painted 140 <laughs> bowling pins, and that includes full pins or half pins because now I cut them in half and I can mount them on a wall. 140 pins, and I believe three of those pins are at the at the museum. So, wow, you know, pretty cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, in uh, your next gig, what's what's that going to be? Besides Pete's show My next and Mavon show, will be uh, Pete's show. I've got uh, I'm trying to get him in order. Uh, I'll be doing the uh, uh, Orange County Mustang for Pete Montesano and that group at yeah. Edison. I believe Pete's is the following weekend, right. and then I think uh, Yvonne's a final. Yvonne's is right in there. So, yeah, your June's taken care of. June's taken care of down south. Uh, I've got a few of them out this way that I'm going to be doing. Right. So, and you mentioned that uh, event at the Vista Ford place coming up? Vista earlier. Ford's coming up. Uh, I got that date. Again, I've got to, I've got to look at it. Uh, that'll be the National Collector Car Appreciation Day, and that's nationwide. Yeah. That goes all across the United States. And I've been a participant of that for uh, several years now. Last year I was pinstriping at that show. This year I'm going to be able to enjoy it like everybody else. I'm going to have okay. a chair there, and I'm going to sit down and uh, enjoy myself. Are you uh, going to drive Wicked over there? Yeah, or? Wicked okay. will be there. Yeah. It's going to be here local and near my hometown. Mm -hmm. And uh, so Wicked will be there with me, and, uh, and I'll be doing like everybody else. You'll be sitting in a chair behind it, pondering? I will ponder. <laughs> Yeah. I, I say that because uh, one of the comments on the on a Facebook post, Johnny talked about pondering, and I happen to have a picture of Johnny sitting in his chair, looking like maybe he was pondering. Well, I, I do a lot of that. I think I think more now excuses not to sometimes go to events as I do excited to go to the yeah. event, and only because I think I'm just getting lazy in my elderly age. <laughs> Yeah. And uh, at the time when I commit to some of these things, it sounds like a good idea. And then when the time comes, it's like, <laughs> what was wow, I thinking? I gotta load this, I gotta load that, and you know, I gotta drive 90 miles. Right. I yeah. just recently went to the Muckenthaler, and that was, uh, I believe, that was 90, 97 miles one way. Wow. So that's what I'm up against. Uh, yeah. You live in Beach Town, Ventura. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You and you move north from. Where you used to live, so you, you got a greater distance to travel. Yeah, I got uh, about forty more miles. Yeah, you know, forty more miles before I get into the valley, and then get out of the valley and go south. You know, time wise, though, what's uh, the miles is ninety, but what's the time wise? Is it like two, three hours? It's uh, it's probably another hour, you yeah. know, to uh, to get where I'm going uh, down south and like that. Well, we all appreciate that you go through all that to come out to show your car and. Uh, set up your booth and do your pinstriping you put a lot of smiles on a lot of people's faces johnny well i'm just happy to do it i'm happy to do it at this age and uh just having a great time yeah i know what a life huh you bet yeah well there you have it here in ventura my pal johnny went to have breakfast and i got bonus pinstriping let's take one last look the dano van and look at that now aerodynamic Pinstriping by the master. Lucky me. Hey, I'm gonna get some check pictures. Check those colors out. Yeah, huh? Yeah, see? Johnny's observing. He pulled everything together. There you have it. Then alive, Johnny Martinez. Ventura.